the angel babies how are you so I am doing another video today um like I said I'm just doing channel messages okay unless I feel led to do something specific okay which is very rare um but we are just going to get right into it um straight off the bat I'm feeling like some of you um are coming into finances probably just tax time but i just saw the nine of pentacles and the six of pentacles when i cut the deck to shuffle right now so that is good news for those of you that are expecting good finances or being able to pay some bills or whatever you want to do all right I feel like, I don't know why the question, what's tormenting you, just came into my mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, something has kept you tied up. All right. Something has kept you feeling kind of anxious, feeling like um, you can't say anything, can't do anything. All right. So, we have that there. Um yeah you guys are remember when i always say the four of swords is the resting card okay it's the meditating card um it is the lowest level of the major arcana the hermit in my mind all right so you guys feel tied up but i feel like you want to come out of this resting period you're um tired of being stuck all right yeah okay you have the world at the bottom of the deck so that just lets me know that you guys are trying to start a new cycle all right oh okay so you're being forced to move somewhere or you're being forced to move on okay um and you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So this is somebody, Leo Sagittarius Aries, that is um, very, very, very like aggressive, very brash, doesn't think about what they um, do or say before they do it. They just move based off of passion or move based off of how they feel, okay? This is not somebody that takes the time to think about anything. It is based off, you know, like basically somebody who's like a hothead all right dealing with that kind of energy so i'm feeling like you guys have been maybe spiritually confused all right like your inner dialogue has been a little different than it is it usually is yeah you have the night abroad so this is somebody that comes in and out of your life okay or somebody that um, makes quick decisions and then leaves you to kind of deal with the fallout um, they love a good story. They come in hot and heavy, but they leave just as quick. So, um, there has definitely been some words here shared with this person that were extremely negative, okay, that caused you to feel as though, you know, there was no way around this person. Like, there was no... Like, there was nowhere for you to go. There was nothing for you to, you know, really say to this person, all right? Um, I feel like since we sh saw the world card, that symbolizes a cycle. And forgive me when I start to stutter. That means I'm starting to channel and the downloads are coming quicker than I can talk. So my words get kind of befuddled. Um, ooh, with the King of Swords coming out of the deck. So you definitely had to display a certain level of decorum okay when they coming to this person this queen of wands all right um but i'm sensing that you had to cut something off because do you see how like yeah i said cut something off and look what's at the bottom of the deck ha 
Oh, wow. And then that kind of fell out. I didn't pick it up all the way, and I left one card. So there's definitely, like, no victory with this person. So I feel like as soon as somebody else stepped in, you kind of just, like, trumped in. You were like, no, I'm not dealing with it. I'm cutting it out. Um, this is not something that, you know, I want to continue to go through, okay? Like, with the world card shows a cycle. So with this person, it's possible that a cycle was not... Um, was not finishing itself out or closing itself out, okay? So you had to do it, or it's possible that um, whoever this Queen of Rods is or Queen of Wands didn't want this cycle to end, all right? Um, but this is almost like somebody says something to you and it's like the final push away. You know what I mean? Like it's the final last kind of a straw and, you know, they try to come in hot and heavy and you're just like, I'm not about that. Yeah. There's no action being taken, okay, um, by this person anymore since you cut this off, all right? Yeah, and you're starting a new beginning, all right? Not with this person, but just, you know, in general. And I feel as though, I don't know why I'm hearing, like, with the Empress in reverse, this is somebody that causes problems at home. This is somebody that causes you to feel... Um, like you have no stability, all right? So this could be you, but this could also mean that you are... I'm also seeing this, like, maybe you're the Queen of Wands, okay? And you realize that you had to remove yourself from a situation and no longer speak about something with somebody. Um... So maybe instead of coming in as the queen, you decided, you know, I'm going to come in as the knight of rods, which is Venus and Aries. So Venus and Aries is very like, they get bored easily and they move on if they feel like the endeavor that they are trying to create or, or manifest in or work with you. Like if there's nothing to work with anymore or you're not giving that person um, with the Venus and Aries, and I'm speaking from experience. Um, anything to work with, um, Venus and Aries will move on very, very quickly. We won't stay around if we feel like the endeavor is not fruitful for anyone anymore. So it's almost like you came in again or tried to. And whoever this King of Swords is, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, quickly just cut it out. And so now it's almost like you've taken your wand back that you were getting ready to offer. Okay, and you're like, I'm just going to start new without you. And why? Because this problem person causes you problems at home. All right, this person. Um, and again, you could be Queen of Wands or the Queen of Wands could be somebody else that you're dealing with and you had to show up as the King of Swords, however, it's resonating with you. And Aquarius, okay, and it's because you are the star. Now, originally it was hanging out like this, but I flipped it up, right? So um, you're taking your... It's like you're taking your action and your spirituality, okay, if you have a new path of spirituality, and you're moving forward and kind of allowing this person to um, deal with themselves. Yeah, like you're cutting things off, okay, and you're allowing this person to kind of deal with themselves and make a decision for themselves, okay, whoever this king of swords is. All right, and you're letting go of the situation. So you're letting go of needing to take action and then constantly, you know, being shut down. Okay, because King of Swords is also very, like, analytical. So he doesn't do things that, in his perspective or her perspective or whatever, they don't do things that don't make sense. Okay, because they're very... Two of the zodiac signs, okay, which would be Gemini and Aquarius are very, very, like, mental. It's all about, you know, they're air signs, but they're all about, like, the mind, okay? So when I think of that, I think about, like, Mercury, okay, ruling over Gemini. It's all about the mind. So I feel as though this person needed time to think for themselves, and rather than you offering up, you know, an action for them to take, you have pulled it back and decided to kind of just let it go with the Four of Pentacles here and have a new start, kind of on your own. Uh, yeah, so 
with the king of rods here, I feel like this person notices that you're trying to, you know, get a new start here. Okay, you're not trying to, um, you're thinking about things a little bit more, okay? Because you realize, like, with the queen of wands, what you've done before, what you've said before, since there's swords here, and what you've thought before was incorrect, okay? It didn't bring you any joy. It brought you instability in your home, okay? So you decided to, you know, kind of humble yourself and not come as the queen, all right? You're actually the knight. And you're deciding to just cut off communication, okay? Um, or this person decided to cut off communication with you. And just kind of like, it's almost like they they ignored your 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 advance, okay? Or your romantic advance or something like that. Um, they kind of were just like icy and cold. So you took your action elsewhere and you let go of the situation, all right? And um, kind of left the ball in this person's court. But I feel like they're showing up as the king of rods to try and, you know, offer you something again, okay? Like, they want to offer you something since they realize that they shut you down twice here. And I feel like that is a secret, all right? That is something that hasn't been exposed yet. But, yeah, there's a ten of pentacles here. So, it's something that is um definitely coming i feel as though i feel like this has been a long-standing issue for some of you like this person um not really showing you affection or you try and take different avenues of communication different actions with this person like um maybe you try and go out with this person like on a date or if you guys don't have any money like you just try to like walk around with this person or watch a movie with them or just you know spend time with them generally and it just doesn't work okay this person just doesn't seem all that interested in what it is that you have so you pulled back and this does seem like a divine counterpart okay just because of the mirroring with the king of rods i wouldn't be surprised if the queen of swords decided to come out but um yeah this is a weakness for this person so mind over um, matter or mind over heart is a weakness for this person which is kind of obvious okay so you left this king of swords here all right in this energy of deciding you can either go with your mind or you can go with how your heart feels okay you need to work on this weakness so i feel like you pulling away and not constantly trying to take actions towards this person has allowed them to realize that they have um a self-expression issue okay uh, that's just what I'm picking up. Yeah, because it's causing you to feel like you don't have any emotional security, maybe even physical security around this person, all right? You don't really know what's going to happen because they're so icy and cold. Um, for others of you, you're going to be getting a message from a Leo about some finances or something about your home, all right? It's coming, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um yeah okay the six of pentacles is popping out again so there is something that this person wants to share with you equally give and take with you um offer money to you or something of that sort something along those lines all right this person wants to come and balance out the situation okay because they realize that this is their weakness but oh look what i just got i don't like these two cards when i split the deck so I got the Magician in Reverse, which means somebody being manipulative, and that is on top of the Moon card. So somebody's being secretive and manipulative. Oh my God, and look what was under that, Deception. So somebody's definitely being deceptive. It could be a Virgo person here, because Virgo is at the bottom of here. This is also the Virgo card. Okay, somebody working very, very hard. Um yeah oh my god okay so why is this person being manipulative and i'm going to switch decks actually why is this person being manipulative spirit what's going on with this person because it's like they didn't want to show any kindness before two times before which caused you to feel unstable unwelcomed or unwanted okay there were harsh words that you felt like you were tied up by and now all of a sudden this person wants to offer you something but it's manipulative like it's coming from manipulative energy um look when i cut the deck justice came out all right and the sun came out 
So you're going to be getting justice over this situation, but I want to know why this person, why, what's, what's with this person being manipulative? What is, what is happening? And with the sun here, lots of Leo energy, okay? So that's lots of like lioness, Valerian, freedom, okay, unconditional loving energy, okay, strength energy. Okay, the Empress in reverse. So somebody, and this is over the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like somebody is not in tune with their higher self, okay? This is the second time that we got the Empress in reverse because we got the Empress in reverse also here, all right? Um, with the Empress in reverse, she still embodies every attribute of all four suits of the Queens. So she's the Queen of Cups, she's the Queen of Wands, she's the Queen of Pentacles, and she's the Queen of Swords. But in reverse, she's not using any of those powers because there's some type of strife going on at home. There's some type of something making her feel, um, you know, unstable, okay? Making her feel, you know, less than. So with Aquarius here, I feel like Aquarius energy is all about freedom. It's all about being a rebel. It's all about breaking chains, breaking ancestral chains, okay? It's Pleiadian energy, which comes in to help rectify the situation and expose secrets, expose emotional secrets, possibly about a Scorpio. Okay, this is the Piscean card, all right? So this to me with Pleiades and um, Pisces, all right, I, I think of like Jesus energy, okay? Somebody that comes in or steps in to save you or try to save you, all right? So that's what I feel like this person is manipulating you towards is like they're trying to help, like coming under the guise of help. But let's go ahead and clarify that first because I just want to see because I think it's very suspicious that this person would not take your offers of love, you know, and you leave and then they decide to come back. That's like it's almost like this person just wants you to be around for the sake of being around. OK, like it's maybe something about your energy because you're anointed. OK, the star card is like an anointing. Yeah, so about this person's weakness, you're going to be in, like, the Page of Swords energy, all right? Um, you're very, very defensive. You may also curse this person out a lot, or you have arguments with this person, and you really, like, show up with that Goddess Kali energy where you're slicing down people's pride, which is also probably why the Strength card is in reverse. It's because you're not taking any of this person's bullshit, Okay. And you have the world card, so you're still starting a new cycle no matter what this person has to say coming forward, okay? Um, and I feel like this is going to cause some heartbreak and it's going to be a tough decision, okay? But you're going to be thinking about, you know, what has this person offered you, all right? You're going to be thinking about, you know, the decisions that you took, all right? You're going to be thinking about the actions that you took, the decisions that you made, okay? Do you see how her hands are kind of like red, stained a little bit? Do you see that? So I feel like there's been like bloodshed, like you've had to get your hands dirty, okay? Um, or there's something about a Leo Sagittarius or Aries that they've been caught red-handed, all right? I'm getting that as well. And you're, you're just like, I want a new beginning. Like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Maybe this person makes you act very, very out of character. All right. Um, and this King of Rods wants to come in along with your new start. Okay. And you want something. You're looking for something that's balanced. This person in this energy, like, this, this is not balance. Okay. This is instability. And it's mental instability. So, it's possible that a um, Leo Sagittarius or Aries has some mental issues, okay? And they project that onto you, all right? Because what I'm looking at here, okay, with you being tied up by somebody's words or somebody's actions, it's like verbal abuse. Um, And then it's like you try and chase and come in hot and heavy, and this person is just like, you know, no, like, no, thank you. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be focusing on my Ten of Pentacles here um, and cutting this off because why? Because you're making my home situation miserable. All right, so that is there. 
and this decision, okay, is going to cause a lot of heartbreak, and I feel like this person who tried to manipulate you, because this is Virgo energy as well, um, it's going to cause a lot of heartbreak for you. A lot of heartbreak for you. A lot. All right. Um, especially with Aquarius here, like, it's almost as if, with the magician and the empress here being the only ones in reverse it's almost like i'm seeing those two as like a divine pair but there's something maybe about an aquarius person okay or something about um it's just something missing <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but it's almost like you can't really put your finger on it but it's 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 something there that is giving you heartbreak that needs to be illuminated. But right now, this is a part of this person's shadow. All right? This is what they're hiding. So, I feel like I need a clarifying card on that because it's causing heartbreak. Like, it's something about... And it could be an Aquarius person, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so... We have the King of Wands in reverse, so that to me means that <laughs> there's definitely somebody here that is like a hothead. There's definitely somebody here that doesn't think about the things they say or do. Excuse me. They make decisions. They're very, very arrogant, okay? Um, so that's where the heartbreak is coming in at, and it's coming in around, you know, this stability. So, um, yeah, and you have the Eight of Swords again feeling tied up and unable to say anything so maybe you had some harsh words for this person that caused this person to act in an unstable manner all right um like i said this person seems like they have some mental instability going on right now and that could be a part of the heartbreak because aquarius to me may not be a person but i'm thinking of that as like freedom all right, it symbolizes freedom, okay, freedom of the empress. So this is kind of like the magician here, since it was in reverse, it's kind of like somebody trying to manifest their way out of a situation, all right, out of this heartbreak that this person has caused with their mental instability, all right? Um, that's just what I'm seeing. I'm not claiming that to be true, but that's, that, that is, what I am seeing, and I feel like <sighs> I feel like this has just been such a long time coming. Like it's just, it's been so needed. It's been so needed for this to come. So I'm gonna get my angel deck here, and we're gonna get some advice from the different realms. Because I feel like this is like divine because there's not a whole lot of major arcana here, but there's a whole lot of mirroring here. And I feel like you're connected to somebody's energy, you know, like somebody connected to your energy without permission. All right. And you need to cut a cord. And I feel like, um, like there's something here that just needs to be cut off. And it's possibly this Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. All right. Or it is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you have fairies, okay? You have a strong bond with fairies. And your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. So that is very interesting um, for this pile. Like when I think about the Empress, she is in the middle of nature usually, all right? But, um, you know, if you don't have any stability, like if you're working on your Ten of Pentacles and you're hot and heavy working on your Ten of Pentacles and you have somebody kind of standing in the way of that, causing instability at home, that kind of disrupts you from your path and your life purpose. So that's what I'm picking up from that, all right? What else do we have here? 
Yeah, so Spirit is asking you to change your diet because it's going to raise your frequency. So you've been in this page of swords energy, okay? You've been feeling like weak for some of you. Um, and you've been, you know, cutting some things out of your life, all right? Because I'm feeling like you're showing up here like as Aquarius as well and cutting some things off and liberating yourself. And the way that you're going to be able to help yourself is to um, change your diet to raise your frequency, okay? So these things are no longer... Because you know how I just said, like, you're energetically tied to somebody. Like, they didn't ask your permission, all right? They're still trying to access your energy. Like, even if this person isn't around, I feel like you randomly think about them, all right? And it's because you're energetically connected, and that's a cord that needs to be cut, all right? Oh, you can't cut the cord because this person is your twin flame, okay? The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. So I feel like when you randomly think about this person, okay, it causes you to feel like unstable, okay? It causes you to feel like you can't take any action, to feel like you have no choice but to move away and to let go of the situation, okay? To let go of any home situation that you have and to start a new cycle. Um, I feel like maybe this is the beginning of a separation for you two. Alright? Because I feel like, you know, this person is just not accepting your love. Like, I feel like this person just is icy cold, okay? Like, they're mind over matter to the point where like maybe the relationship does not matter to you anymore all right yeah archangel Raphael, the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work okay so that could just be me right now helping you guys heal by you know revealing things to you or it could be about this situation here where you know you have two divine counterparts here and one makes decisions without really really thinking about it or has in the past and you know wanting to move on and start new and the king of rods wants to come in okay um for some of you i feel like you found a sense of spirituality that you'd really like to move forward with all right um and connect i feel as though you have pulled away whoever the divine feminine is um, and taking that action that she was taking back and the king of rods wants to come in and balance the situation all right but you're in your head about it you don't really know how you feel about the situation so archangel Raphael is kind of helping you heal through that all right and about this situation where somebody is being manipulative towards you okay which is the king of wands I think it's funny that it's in the reverse in this pile and it kind of shows this person being like mentally unstable, okay? Dealing with, you know, heartbreak, dealing with, you know, harsh things that people have said, okay? Dealing with not having any type of stability um, within their self, all right? Dealing with making horrible decisions. So it's almost like this king of, of, of wands has made this other person, okay, their divine counterpart, unstable, all right, in some kind of way. And I'm going to pull a card for that in a moment. Yeah, oh my God. So you guys just literally pulled this out of my, my glass cup here and or, or beaker and the wheel of fortune is in the empress's favor in the divine feminine's favor and justice is in the divine feminine's favor so they're coming in and saying oh this is our star okay this is the secret that you asked for okay this is our star and the empress is in this energy of not being able to be stable of being unstable all right so we're going to flip that around and put the Wheel of Fortune in her favor and put justice in her favor, all right? Since you want to come in and be manipulative, we're going to let you have this heartbreak. We're going to let you feel unstable mentally, and we're going to take away your stability, okay, within self and restore it back, okay? So I feel like 
the tables have been turned, and so now I feel like this King of Wands is trying to hurry up and get his shit together and offer or bring some type of balance, okay? So this is really just about balance. So I feel like the Divine Feminine, like, I keep getting this, this idea that you've stopped chasing so much and you've really been focusing on self. Like, maybe, that's why I said maybe you've got, like, some kind of new um, spiritual path that's helping you heal, okay? It's helping you connect to the angels and, you know, you're wanting to change your diet. Um, this person, your divine counterpart, really just sees you um, changing, Okay, they see you doing things different, maybe talking about things that you never talked about or didn't take too seriously before, and now you are taking them seriously. You're feeling like, um, yeah, the ascended masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. Isn't that amazing? So, spirit has really stepped in. Your guides, your, your angels have really stepped in to um, rectify this situation with this person. All right, and then let's get some love advice. Because I was sensing that maybe you guys were going to go into separation, but I feel like that King of Wands came out and was like, uh-uh, like, this is my person. I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure that this person stays around, all right? And I feel like Mayat or Justice has came in and said, okay, we'll help you balance the situation out because, you know, this person may be, your twin flame may be a part of your life purpose in some sort of way, all right? And so if this person wasn't around you, like, at all, or if you guys were to break up or separate, um, that would put a dent in whatever progress you, as a Divine Feminine, if you're watching, have made so far. So, um, yeah, you have unrequited love, which I was sensing here, okay? There's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going, all right, I was sensing that here with the chaser runner dynamic, okay, is that, um, you know, I also saw let go of control issues when I cut the deck. Yeah, there's a red flag here, okay, the signs are cautioning you. I was also picking up on that energy because, you know, if you're offering somebody something and they're not taking it, Okay, and it's making you feel uh, unstable. It's making you feel like, you know, you have to push the ball back in this person's court. It's making you feel like, you know, weak to the point where you're just like defensive because you're just like, I don't know how else to be. And you're just like, I'm going to change, you know, something about myself. Okay, I'm going to focus on myself because I can't control you. And I, that's a huge problem with the Divine Feminines is like they try to control what the masculine does or how he sees things like control his perspective and it's not possible okay the only thing that you can control is you and i feel like yes oh my god okay so it says give your relationship a chance work on your partnership all right and that's over the twin flame card here so spirit's really asking you to pay attention to the red flags okay and you know work on your partnership we also got Wedding, like I said, somebody's getting ready to get married after this situation heals. This is, like, it keeps coming up for some reason. Um, I got, all right, a bunch of cards here. So, finances and career is a huge issue right here, which I can see that. Um, there's deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And it is time to disconnect from the world and retreat and separate a time apart from your partner is on the horizon so i'm feeling like this situation is just strictly about you allowing this person to have time to themselves all right um or actually that one like this so that they can figure out remember when i said you know you're putting the ball in this person's court like it's time for you to retreat, Divine Feminine, and let this person figure out what the hell it is that they really want, what the hell it is that, you know, oh my God, and look what's at the bottom of the deck. It says free yourself, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, so, you know, if this person's been making you feel unstable or, you know, like mentally like you're not all there, okay, which means that there's probably some gaslighting going on, which is why we have the deception card there. That's why we saw the Seven of Swords when I cut the deck. Um, 
that this person has some issues, okay? So what happens when you have a divine counterpart, and you got the star card again, but I'll go over that in a minute, is this person may have mind over matter type of a mind over matter type of attitude and the way that that's reflecting back to you since this person is your twin flame and you guys are essentially like mirror mirroring each other is this person tries to control their feelings okay you're trying to express your feelings and you can't seem to meet in the middle because this person won't get in touch with their emotional body okay that's the divine masculine and you're you know stuck in your mental body, because you're thinking along the lines of, well, what's wrong? Well, what did I do? Well, let me try this. Well, let me do this. And this person is just, you know, not in touch with self. Okay? We saw that towards the end here when justice came out. So, you know, you're the star. Okay? You feel almost hopeless in this situation. Even though there's still a small glimmer of hope, you do feel hopeless. Like, this situation is just not going to change. All right? With the page of swords in reverse like again feeling like you just need to stop all right feeling like um it's almost like you feel like there's just no hope for you like there's just absolutely nothing that you can do there's nothing that's going to you know essentially help the situation other than the divine feminine pulling back okay because right when the divine feminine pulled back do you see how Excuse me, I'm sorry. Did you see how um, quickly, like, the king of, of, of wands decided to come back in, okay, and try and rectify the situation with the six of pentacles and, you know, balance things out? Because you're right now in a state of feeling, like, paranoid, okay, because this person isn't really expressing themselves, but you're not speaking out about it. Um, and then if you do have something to say, you know, you're being, like, extremely blunt, Um so I don't think that you are essentially trying to retreat, but I feel like the Divine Feminine has no choice but to retreat because they're at the point of mental instability, um, which means like you're a step past mental exhaustion. All right, so what you're doing is you're focusing on yourself, Divine Feminine. You're taking your pentacle back, okay, just like you had the Ace of um, Wands, in reverse okay you're taking your action back you're taking your pentacle back okay i feel like you have already emotionally walked away since we are all the way at swords and wands now so you know it's just time for you to maybe physically separate yourself um from this person and allow them you know time to get their shit together yeah because they're causing you heartbreak okay feeling like the relationship is hopeless all right, and you're seeing things for what they really are with the Seven of Cups in reverse. You're seeing things, like, for what they really are. You thought that maybe your cups were full at one point, and now you're defensive and you're upset, and, you know, you're in your head thinking that, you know, paranoid, like, maybe my relationship isn't what I thought that it was. All right? And look, didn't I say you probably emotionally walked away? That just kind of fell out of the deck. Yeah, so this is like, maybe you will be physically and emotionally walking away and see you have the page of wands again. All right, so you're like offering something, but it's like you're offering it to a third party. All right, Divine Feminine, Um, let me get a clarifier for that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, you're walking away. You're offering your love to a, some type of third party. So whether it's um, some type of passion you have. Or remember when I said you got like a new sense of spirituality. So you are paying attention to that now, okay, with this Venus and Aries um, type of, of energy. You're just quick, hot, and heavy, like just diving deep into spirituality. I'm not really seeing this as another person. And you've made that decision, but look what's uh, right there, ready to come in, in the upright. As soon as you decide to emotionally walk away, as soon as you decide to take care of yourself and take your pinnacle back, take your action back, boom, the emperor wants to step in, all right? He wants to step in and talk about his indecision, his uh, ability, because remember, this was in the upright first. He wants to come in and talk about 
how he fucked up, I feel like. He wants to come in and basically try and save the day, okay? Try and hurry up and balance things out before he loses, you know, his, his star, okay? His anointed one, his divine counterpart, okay? Um, for some of you, you may not even go into a full-on separation, okay? Um, for some of you, this person is going to... For some of you, this person is just going to blow it, all right? Because the Two of Pentacles in reverse means that somebody is um, horrible with, like, money or horrible with, like, stability. So for some of you, this person is going to absolutely blow it and, and cause you guys to separate, all right? So something horrible is coming for some of you, not all of you. Um, let's see here. Yeah, all right. So you have the world card here. So this is a cycle that this person, like, I feel like they don't want you to end this cycle with them, okay? You're planting seeds, though, elsewhere. <laughs> like, literally, girl, you're, you're divine feminine. You are planting seeds elsewhere. You got the third party card here, all right? You have the three of wands here, which means you have already made a decision on what pathway you want to take, and you are now sowing seeds. Okay, and guess what? You have bad memories of this person, all right? You don't have the best of memories with this person when you look back on the situation and you look at, you know, how you were being treated and what has gone on. You don't, you know, you're, you're separated thinking about all the bad stuff that's happened. And, you know, I don't completely blame you, Divine Feminine, because I feel like, there's only so much offering that you can do and so much leading the camel to water that you can do before you're just like, you know what, I give up. I completely give up. Yes. The full in reverse. You're having a new start, but you, you want to take a calculated risk, okay? This, to me, is not somebody that doesn't take a risk. It's a calculated risk, okay? Because you, you don't want to be burdened anymore. It's, it's, it's a burden for you. At this point, yeah, and you have the King of Swords in reverse when I cut the deck. So, um, yeah, and they're going to be wanting to come in and talk to you. Oh, my God, and look, you're going to be like, no, no, thank you. Goodbye. I'm good. You had me in some horrible energy. Thank you, though. No. I feel like you're going to be happy without them because you have, yeah, oh, my God. So you have the death card, all right? Like, this is a final situation, all right? It's done. There's nothing to, left to be said. You're going to be cutting this person off. So some of you are definitely going into separation, okay? And it's just because you're tired of trying and you're just sowing seeds elsewhere. You're upset, okay? Um, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're, you're dissatisfied. You're not happy, okay? So that, that's going to bring the situation to a very, very swift end because you're just dissatisfied. Oh, and what do we have at the bottom of the deck? We have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, you're just unsatisfied. You don't want to be with this person anymore because you feel like you're sick of trying. Every kind of love offer that you end up giving this person, um, they don't take all right and i feel like divine feminine you're just tired of it but you do have an emperor waiting for you i think whenever your person decides to come back it'll be completely up to you on whether you feel comfortable or not you know with trying to get over this unrequited love so that's going to be completely up to you like you have free will all right but i would just say really think about that like if somebody you have to get down to the bottom of why this person it was not offering you, you know, what it is that you needed to feel stable, what it is that you needed to feel good about yourself, all right? Um, because that's going to be a huge part of you moving forward with somebody is making sure that you solve the problem. So you want to make sure that this person isn't in defensive energy when you try and talk and solve your problems because if they are, then there's going to be no need 
um, to be around, okay? And for some of you, if you're setting off on your new spiritual path and, you know, your person is not willing to elevate with you, and I just saw 909, I'm going to look that up, um, and your person's not willing to elevate with you, you know, you're not a vibrational match anymore, okay? You're not... It, it's just not going to work because that person's not vibing where you're vibing at, okay? They're comfortable where they're at, so there's not going to be a whole lot that you can do, okay? Um, so 909 signifies from the angels that changes that will be happening in your life, you should not be afraid or, afraid or fearful because they can only bring positive things for you. The angel number 909 wants you to know that you have to accept it as the beginning of a new journey, okay? Like, you have to accept that, you know, this is going to be a good thing, okay? So, it's saying when you see angel number 909, think about your twin flame, then it's a good sign. It is telling you that there is an ending of a bad relationship, which is not your twin flame. After the ending, there will be a new start and beginning. So... Divine Feminines, okay? That is why you had the Emperor stepping in, okay, after this person leaves because they're not your divine counterpart, okay? Point blank, period. They're a manipulator, okay? They didn't want to give to you because they're, you're not who they're supposed to be with, okay? Um, for some of you, there's going to be an Aquarius stepping in, okay, for your um, what you thought was your divine masculine, um, for others of you, you know, you're going to be meeting somebody else, all right? Uh, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and that person, what the freak? That person's going to be your twin flame, all right? But you have to get rid of this. You, you have to get rid of this person first, okay, before you can connect, okay? You got to free yourself. So that is what I have for you for this unexpected love reading, all right? Uh, of what is tormenting you. I did say that earlier. So some of you are really being tormented by, you know, a love situation. Okay. And hold on. Just, yep, excuse me. I'm sorry. Good grief. Um, I just saw 9-11. So that's, a, I'm just, that's the last thing I'm going to do. Um, 9-11 or 9-1-1 angel number is a positive pointer from the angels and if it is pointing you in the direction of love then it's the best okay it's for the best it is time for you to start laying plans for your future one that involves someone to love and that takes away past feelings of hurt and pain okay so i feel like that's the sign from the angels letting you know that this person isn't going to be causing you pain okay they're not going to be Look at that. All right, start laying out plans. All right, the angels don't want you to be kind of giving, 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 and not receiving anything back, okay? That's not what they have planned for you. That's not how they want their anointed one to feel. So even if this person does walk out of your life, if this person cheats on you or does whatever, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to stay with them just because you have a soul connection with them. There's somebody else for you, just like there may be somebody else for that person that you're with. So I keep getting that message, and the angels really, really, really want you to trust in them and believe in them that, you know, you're going to be happy because a lot of us, our happiness is connected to, you know, our romantic relationship. And when we don't have that, we tend to feel unstable. But if you're in a relationship and you're already feeling unstable, then maybe that's not the person for you, okay? So that is what I have for you. If you need me for a personal reading, everything is in the description box, all right? Including my business number, which is free to call or text. And until next time, I'll see you later, angel babies. Bye.